alaikum wa rahmatullah. Good day everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel today. Today we will be solving problems on electricity. Problem 1 has many parts A, B, C and D. The A part says write the value of 95,000 picofarad in microfarad. This means you are given capacitance value in picofarad which is an extremely small unit. Okay? And you are asked to express this in uh, bigger unit compared to the picofarad which is microfarad b says an indicator lamp requires a current of 0.046 amperes express this in milliampere you are given current value in amperes and you are asked to express this in milliampere which is another unit of current uh, smaller than the ampere the C part says a current of 8.33 milliamperes flows in a circuit. Express this current in amperes using exponent or exponential notation. Okay, uh, you, you are given in milliamperes, you are asked to change it to amperes, but express the value in uh, exponential notation. D part says a voltage of 6.45 times 10 to the power of minus 6 volt appears at the input of an amplifier. Express this voltage in uh, microvolt and in millivolt using exponential notation. Okay, let us take the problems one by one. The first one, you are given 95,000 picofarad and you are asked to change it to microfarad. Let's see how we can do that. Let us write solution. Solution. Uh, the A part, you are given 95,000 in uh, nanofarad, sorry, picofarad. Okay, the first thing we should do is to convert this to um, to <clears throat> to farad. Ninety five. Remember that one one pico farad uh, is equal to ten raised to the power of minus twelve farad. Okay, ten raised to the power of minus twelve farad. So if I have this, I will just say ninety five thousand times 10 raised to the power of minus 12 um, in farad. Remember, ten, uh, micro is 10 raised to the power of minus 6. Split this one so that you can get 10 raised to the power of minus 6 here. So this is equal to, this will now be equal to 95,000 times 10 raised to the power of minus 6 times 10 to the power of minus 6 because minus 6 minus 6 will yield minus 12 in farad okay note that this one is your micro so if you combine this and this you will have the micro farad so you will now say this is equal to 95 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, times 10 to the power of minus 6 then Instead of this times 10 to the power minus 6, you just put micro for this and then you bring <clears throat> farad. Now you have it in micro farad. Now you can choose to express this in decimals. Uh, to do that, since this one is minus 6, shift the decimal point from here. 6 places backward. Look at it here. So let's see 1, 2, 3, 4 five six so you have zero here point zero okay this will be zero point zero nine five um then you bring this one micro farad that's it you have solved a uh check it out one two three four five six that's correct. So you move six places backward. Then let us take the second one, B. The second one says, uh, what does it say? This, it, it says an indicator lamp of this. So you are given this value of current, which is um, 0 0.046 
in amperes and you are asked to express it in milliampere. How do you express it in milliampere? Uh, very simple. Um, remember, uh, one milliampere is equivalent to 10 raised to the power of minus 3 ampere. So if you want to express this in milliampere, uh, shift the decimal place uh, three places forward. And this will mean you have one, two, three. So you have 46. So this is 46. Now times 10 raised to the power of minus three ampere. You see the milli comes in. So this means I can say 46 milli ampere. Instead of the 10 raised to the power of minus 6, I can just put the small m here, m in lowercase for milli, and I have it in milliampere. Okay. Um, C. Let's take C. C says you have a current of 8.33 milliampere, and then they, they ask you to convert this to amperes. Very simple. Now, the current is 8.33 milliampere. Remember, this milli is 10 to the power of minus 3. And it's so interesting that they say uh, using exponential notation. So remember this relationship, 1 milliampere is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 ampere. So this will now be equal to 8.33 times 10 to the power of minus 3 in ampere in bracket you can state your reason that one milliampere is 10 to the power of minus three ampere this is the conversion factor in one line you have solved the uh, the c part now let's take the d part we are given the voltage value here and uh a D Roman number one says we should convert it to a uh, micro volt. So our voltage value, let us write D Roman number one. The voltage value is 6.45 times 10 to the power of minus, uh, minus 6 volt. But we know that uh, one micro volt is 10 to the power of minus 6 volt because uh, micro is 10 to the power of minus 6 okay this means we can just remove this one and put micro in its place so we say therefore our 6.45 times 10 to the power of minus 6 volt is equal to 6.45 Instead of all this, we put the micro and then we have it in volt. So this is our result. Pretty simple. Now, moving on, we go to Roman number D, Roman number 2. D, Roman number 2, still you have a voltage value of, uh, you have a voltage value of, um, for uh, 6.45 times 10 to the power of minus 6 volt and you are asked to change this value to uh, millivolt look at it here millivolt remember milli is 10 to the power of minus 3 and what you have here is 10 to the power of minus uh, 6 so split this one in such a way that you can have 10 to the power of minus 3 so this will simply be um, 6.45 times 10 to the power of minus 3 times another 10 to the power of minus 3 in volt because minus 3 minus 3 when added together will give you the minus 6 so this is now equal to 6.45 times 10 to the power of minus 3 and then this 10 to the power of minus 3 is your milli you see that so you have milli volt then since you have minus 3 here you are expected to shift this one uh oh i remember they said uh, let's see that F O using exponential notation 
so using exponential notation since they say using exponential notation you cannot go further you stop here you stop here using exponential notation you stop here you don't go any further so with this we have solved uh, problem one assalamu alaikum warahmatullah